This is the luxury world. Get inspired with us today and tomorrow. When investors learned about a less formal investment instrument for luxury timepieces during the COVID-19 pandemic, prices in the second-hand watch market of any country experienced a phenomenal rise. It happened not just on one luxury watch brand, but came across prominent watch brands like Udima Piguet, Patek Philippe, and also Rolex. Even though predominant investments like stocks, bonds, and goods and services have historically produced a safe return for investors since they are established assets in the eyes of many, people are still looking for more, and they found it interesting in the luxury watch industry. Now that the entire economy appears to be in disarray due to growing inflation, distribution shocks, rising interest rates, and a decline in real wages, there is a certain dull mood all around the world as we emerge from the pandemic. How do you think this makes an impact on the watch market? In today's video brought to you by the luxury world, we will be examining if luxury watch brands like Rolex are no longer a good hedge against inflation, or if it's the other way around. We will also be exploring how luxury watches are effective as a hedge against inflation. If you still have not subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to do it now so you can stay updated on our future videos. To better understand the situation, let us start by defining an inflation hedge. This means an investment that maintains its value in the face of a currency's declining purchasing power due to price increases brought on by inflation. With this, there is strong evidence that inflation hedges exist in the market. On the other hand, inflation in simple means is the decreasing ability to purchase of the consumers that are happening intermittently since the 1700s. This happens not just in a single country, but its effect is felt globally, at a different pace. The overbearingly high interest rates for everyone, as time passed on the sporadic event that is coupled with a slow rate of growth in an inflation-prone economy, which is also called stagflation. The wealthy as well as the impoverished are left in a difficult situation. They have problems with hedging or protecting their savings in the face of declining power such as a high inflation rate. They remain to have the option of choosing which assets, be it gold, watches, real estate, or other investments to invest their fortune with the intention that they will value and enjoy, and offset the consequences of inflation. With this in mind, do you think it's right for you to buy watches as an inflationary hedge? Announcing the year 2023, which is certain to follow what 2022 started with a pessimistic outlook with the unusual economic scenario where expected stagflation continues all year round. The overwhelming majority of Westerners are likely to get poorer in real terms. So why is it that everyone is talking about inflation? We had experienced inflation before the current inflation we are experiencing. And generally, it occurs between two and three times every year. The aim is just a relative percentage of what we can expect in a more drastic situation. It may not always be a bad thing. However, it's detrimental when it's at such high inflation rates. For instance, in the United Kingdom, it's 10.8% and is at 7.1% in the United States. Now, this is quite high and it suggests that almost everything is rising. It happened not just on the price of products and services alone, but also on additional assets. Currently, what we have at the moment nevertheless is unique. Stagflationary economic conditions, which essentially imply that the economy is usually the asset prices, are not increasing. But what is causing this is that an increase in the cost is also impacting the services and goods. The value of assets like watches becomes challenging because the price is not rising. Business people, investors, and individuals with cash savings, for example, are using bank accounts to determine how to change savings held in bank accounts, which are suffering losses due to such inflation rate into a property in the pre-gaining in value and substance, and to also see if it can overcome or combat the said inflation. Currently, there are not many assets that in general are increasing in value. For instance, even the cost of housing is staying the same or plummeting in the United Kingdom. And even the stock markets in the United States had a lot of difficulties before the last year ended. How about traditional assets like gold where it remains to have a value over time? These customary and established resources that when circumstances are tough, people invest their money in are also having trouble with inflation. This means that all of the goods and products that have the potential of increasing in value were also deeply affected by inflation. The inflation can get so high that even if you have 20k or 30k cash in the bank account, it's still losing value in real terms. 
you might consider and think about changing them and instead invest the money into a collection of watches to protect them from inflation. What we are searching for is one of our strengths where value growth is increasing by a rate equal to or greater than. Rolex has a reputation for being overinflated a year and has lost value of 5 to 10 percent. That primarily concerns the current production of the models. It also primarily applies to models that were exposed and that were publicized to all the hype. Prices skyrocketed and perhaps they have made amends for what we only need to dial a few more numbers and went deeper into more probing inquiries about which Rolex watch models or kinds that could still value. A crucial area to check into is which watches remained popular and also which watches continued to sell well to those of us who beat the long wait list from Rolex. Generally speaking, some Rolexes are on the cheaper end of the price range. A vintage date just from the 1980s and 1990s with the reference 16200 and 16220 for instance comes with the Quickset Date Sapphire Crystal. Those are excellent models because they did not change at all from the previous year and they have not been exposed to the value and cost plummeting. The fact that has motivated it's because these Rolex models and references serve as the point of entry on the first Rolex that individuals purchase. Thus, more people than usual are present in the market for a budget-friendly Rolex. Let us say that we refer them as the Vintage Datejust or even the Discontinued Oyster Perpetual 39. The reason why it becomes a good fit is that they are increasingly in demand, and as a result, they are not even close to being susceptible to economic turbulence. Websites across the internet like watch charts have a lot of data and information which are available. They provide data that maintains a record of past performance over the previous year for specific brands of the watch in the market, and one of the most strikes out to be a top performer according to the website is the Olonga Enzuna. It's a German timepiece brand that is exceedingly exclusive because of its design which is artisanal, and its watch engineering and workmanship level is also great. Additionally, hand finishing is used to create a distinctive feature for their time pieces. There has always been a brand that is now very affordable compared to the previous year and this brand belongs to it. The broad growth in value has gone up by over 13%, which naturally surpasses the magic inflation rate for the watch industry. Alonga and Zuna is a business that releases a little number of watches, which is nothing compared to what was on the same scale as 1 million pieces of Rolex manufactured for the year 2022. This essentially denotes that there are also watch brands liquidity is much lower like Olunga and Zuna and about what's happening in the secondary market in alterations in terms of the watch sales provided those with the data transactions taking place that indicate how it is reliable to compare to the more traditional hedges against inflation aside from investing on watch. For example, the 4100 in 2022, which is almost anticipated to only produce 4.1%, which is already advantageous since it's a good sign that investing in watches can still be a good way to protect your assets against inflation. Although some of the watches in the market do not hedge perfectly against inflation, you can still see a clear potential on investing in watches in the future. Historically, gold has always been often regarded as one of the safer places to put your money. Without a doubt when there is inflation or a recession, you can anticipate a profit on gold. However, this year compared to 2022, gold as a price increase of merely resulted in 2% which is still within the margin of error. And we can confidently state that it remained to be the same. So you could have just kept your money and your funding in the bank or find other kinds of stuff where you think your money could grow. Once again, this is the end of another video. What are your thoughts about the watches? Do you think that they are a good hedge against inflation? We would like to see your answers and opinions in the comment section. If you liked this video, we will be glad if you let us know that too. Don't forget to follow us and give us a thumbs up. Once again, this is the luxury world and we look forward to seeing you again in our next videos.